So when it comes to putting your hair toppers on, it's obviously really important that the clips are really secure in your own bio hair so that it doesn't slip and slide and move throughout the day. Now, I have owned this upgraded Courtney hair topper from Uniwigs for about the last two to three weeks and I have worn her a lot. This is the shade Dusty Ash Brown and I have her in the 14 inch length. So when it arrived, it had um, four pressure sensitive clips already sewn in to the base. Two at the very front and two at the back. Now, for the first couple of weeks, I wasn't having any issue whatsoever, but then we got to Christmas. And at Christmas time and New Year, you do a lot of hugging with friends and family. And I found that people were putting their arms around me, kind of then when they hug you tightly, it would pull at the hair slightly. And these two at the back weren't an issue, they weren't movi moving, but I could feel movement at the front. And I know why this is, and this is because my hair loss uh, is mainly at the front section of my head. And I've got a receding hairline, but also what I do have at the front is really wispy. I'm very, very thin. So these two clips here don't have a lot of hair to get hold of um, at all, actually. Um, so this isn't providing me with as probably as much security as I need when wearing this out and about, seeing friends and family, especially when I'm hugging them. Um, so what I'm gonna do is try and increase the security of this topper and show you how I'm gonna do that. So when we look at the original clips that are already in the base, you can see that there is stitching in the top hole and on that side as well. And there's also stitching in the bottom hole. Now the bottom stitching goes into the wefts and that top stitching goes just into that edge there. Now I am going to add two additional clips just slightly further back from those two at the front. I'm not going to take these out, they do manage to grasp some hair so they're not completely useless and also if I took those out then this front section would probably flap around a lot. So I'm just going to add in two additional clips next to them where my fingers are at the moment and hopefully this is going to provide me with additional security when I'm wearing this topper. So the first thing I'm going to do is get some cotton thread um, and I've chosen a light brown shade that is going to blend really seamlessly with the topper. And I've now threaded my cotton onto my needle. This is just a standard hand sewing needle. Let's see, here's it's nice and sharp and I've popped a knot in at the end as well. Okay, so before we start, it's really important we get the clips on the right way around. So you could potentially sew them in either way, um, but it's important to have it the right way around so that it clips into your hair properly. Now you can see on this side, um, the teeth of the clip are more are obvious and they are on this side of the clip, whereas they are not on that side of the clip. So that is the side of the clip that we want to see that we want facing upwards from the base. Okay, so teeth facing upwards. I've placed her where I want her the clip. I take my needle and I'm gonna start from underneath. Come up. Start pulling through. Being really careful not to pull any of the hair through as well. I'm not a seamstress, I have no qualifications when it comes to sewing. I'm just using a really basic stitch for this. And it may not look as pretty as what the Uniwigs um, installed clips are, but it's going to do the job and you're not gonna see the stitching anyway when you're wearing the topper. So as long as you can be, as long as you can get the stitching done, you won't see what it looks like when you're wearing it. Just being extra careful to make sure that none of, this, none of the hair is pulled through as I do this. I think that feels quite secure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight down and I'm going to use the same thread. I'm going to go and do the bottom one as well. 
This one I'm doing slightly differently. I'm not putting the needle all the way through the cap and bringing it up the other side because I don't want to catch any hair, which is more likely to happen, not on the edge. So I'm just picking up a little bit of the material that covers the wefts and then going under that clip and then bringing the needle up through the hole. Like this. Feels really secure now on that side, so I'm just gonna finish up. And just grab my scissors and then cut the thread and that side is done so I'm just going to go away and do the other side. Okay, so I've pulled my needle up through from the back or the top of the base through to the bottom and then I'm just going to take a little bit of the material next to it into my needle and then up through the bottom of the hole and back through the top just to then and I'll keep doing that until it feels secure probably about seven or eight times so a little bit of that material from the which is covering the wefts and then under that, through that top hole of the clip and then pulling through. Now that feels nice and secure on that side. So I'm going to do that bottom hole and I'm going to do the same thing again. Making sure I don't catch any of the hair from the topper in the process. Also not pulling too tight because I don't want to distort any of the wefting. Just tight enough that it's secure. Feels really good now. So I'm just going to finish off. So all my stitching is done now and you can now see that on this upgraded Courtney topper base I now have six pressure sensitive clips instead of the standard four and this will provide me with additional security when I wear this topper. So as I say I am not a professional seamstress, I have very basic sewing skills um, but it's quite simple to do. It's a little bit time consuming, probably took me about 20 minutes to do these two, but that's probably just lack of experience with a needle. Um, and I'm sure if you're a bit more familiar with it, then it would take you less time. So this was my first attempt and you can see it's quite messy, but it doesn't matter because no one is gonna see the stitching when you're wearing it flat, it'll be flat on your head. Um, and then by the second attempt, I've gotten a little bit more confident and you can see that it's far neater. So the stitching has gone into the edges at the top holes and then into the material of the wefting in the bottom holes there. And the teeth are on the outside. They must always be on the outside, otherwise you won't get that gap to scoop your own bio hair into. So make sure those teeth are on the outs, are sort of looking at you on this side when you add a clip in yourself. So I've added my two out the front, but if you had areas of thin hair at the back here, you could add in clips um, in this section or right at the base if you needed to, at the back of the base if you needed to. So obviously you wouldn't want to add any clips into this monofilament section because this is where the parting of the hair is going to be. Um, but very easily can add clips anywhere around, anywhere around the circumference of this base except for this I wouldn't want to add it here either I don't think um, but just because I don't need to um, this is a polyurethane strip 
I don't know how easy that would be to sew onto, but yeah. So last thing to do is to get her on um, and see what difference it makes and how it makes me feel and how secure it is. So. I always use the front two clips, I grab onto those and use that as a gauge for how centralised the top is. So I can feel that's the two clips that are even. So I'm going to open them up and I'm going to sort of almost turn it on itself, the clip, and use that as like a scooping tool to push into the wire hair that I have at the front and then secure. Okay, so I've popped those two in the front and then I'm going to get my new clips. So I'm going to do the same again. Scooping them, my bio hair into the clips and then securing them. And then I'm going to do the final one. Opening them up. And then scooping my bio hair in. it's okay to take the time make sure that they are fully secure that there's enough bio hair and if there's not enough bio hair in those clips then it's not going to provide security it's going to slip really easily but i think i might do a bit more in this one as well there we go okay now she's on and i can feel already that it's more secure. Um, a really good test of this is actually when you pull a brush through it, because if there's if there's anything loose, any of the clips are loose, then just pulling a brush through your hair is you're going to see movement. So if someone wants to give me a hug, yeah, I can feel <laughs> it's not going to go now. It's not going to it's not going to slant. It's lovely. So if you have a topper that arrives and you have some clips in and you just don't feel that they are working um, and securing well enough to your bio hair, there are some changes you can make. So first of all, you can do as I've done and you can add some extra clips in. Um, the two clips at the front that were already here, there wasn't a lot of my own bio hair to be able to grasp onto. So for me, I needed some additional security, so I've added in some additional clips. If you don't have additional clips, but you find that some of the ones that are there already are just useless, maybe you've got a bold spot or something underneath one of them, you can take undo the stitching on that clip and reposition it, reposition it into um, an area around the circumference of that base where it's going to work better for you and where you can get a more secure clip or grasp onto some of your bio hair so that it's so that it stays put um yeah so I'm I feel much better about this topper now um I mean I loved it before and I didn't see that there was any issue until it got to Christmas but now this is definitely a far more secure fit on my head <laughs>